In this video, I am going to go over how to find the roots or zeros of a quadratic function on the TI-84 plus CE. Um, first, I would like to go over what roots or zeros of a quadratic function are. So when they ask you for the roots of the quadratic function, they're talking about the roots of the function, which are right here. Every time that they that the parabola crosses the x-axis that is called a root or zero right so when where the parabola crosses that x-axis so if you take a look right here it crosses at negative two that would be one root and then right here that would be another root the question could ask you for the roots the zeros or to solve the quadratic function just know that they are the same thing. And I put it down here, roots equals zeros equals solving. So every time that you do have a quadratic function or parabola, it may have two solutions, one solution, or no solutions. So this one here on the left-hand side has two solutions. It crosses that x-axis twice. Right, and here are the steps I have down for finding the roots on the, the TI-84 calculator. You could pause the video and actually go ahead and read it. Um, I'm not going to go through uh, just reading it for you because we're going to do it together. All right, so the next page is actually going to show you one solution, two solutions, or an, and an example of no solutions. The parabola on the left, you notice, just touches that x-axis once. So that is known as one solution. The parabola in the middle touches the parabola, goes through, intersects the x-axis twice. That is two solutions. And the parabola on the right-hand side does not intersect or touch the x-axis. So it has no solutions. So this is a type of question that you could possibly have. Uh, find the roots, zeros, of a quadratic function graphically. And usually the quadratic function will have equals zero. All right, so we have number one, x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals zero. You have your graphing calculator, hopefully. All right, it's the TI-84 plus CE. And I have that open and press Y equals. This is the zero is the Y. All right. So that goes in the place of that Y. And you're going to input right now X squared plus 3X minus 4. So when you put that in, you just press graph and you will see an exact parabola, the exact parabola that matches that quadratic function that they gave you. So now you have to find the roots. And the way you find the roots on the calculator is very, very simple. You press second function and trace. All right, and it'll bring you to a calculate screen. And in this calculate screen, you'll notice value, number one, number two, zero, number three, minimum, number four, maximum, and number five, intersect. And there's more to, to it, but we are looking at the zero. Remember when I told you, if you're looking for the roots, they're also called zeros. And we're going to press two right now, or you could go down to two, um, and the same thing will happen. This screen will pop up and it'll say left bound. What that means is that this cursor right here, wherever it may be on your calculator, has to be to the left of the X axis, to the left of that X axis. So I'm going to press the left button on the calculator and move that to the left of the X axis. It doesn't matter where it is, as long as it's to the left. Now I press enter and it says right bound. So now I'm going to press to the right and bring that X down to the right beyond that X axis after it crosses the X axis. And I'm going to press enter one more time. 
Then it says guess. And I press enter a third time and it tells me that one of the roots is x equals negative 4. Right there. The y is not going to matter at this point. Right here is where is is your answer. This is these this is one of the roots that the calculator is giving you. So you have another root over here on the right hand side. So you're pressing the second function and go through the whole thing again. Second function trace and then press two for the zero. Notice that the X on the calculator is exactly the place that you left it. We want to bring that all the way over to right about there. That is left right below. It crosses the X axis again. Press enter. Then it'll say right bound. And then you have to press the right button to bring that X, that cursor up past where it crosses the x-axis and then press enter again it says guess press enter one more time and you have the second root or zero and it's x equals one so these are the answers that's how you do it short form and that's it for that question so when you go and do another problem and this is number two Remember, it pretty much will always have x equals, it uh, have negative 3x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0. This is standard form. So it has to be in that standard form, has to be equal to 0, can't be equal to a number. Right? So if you did another problem, just clear it out. And now y1, you're going to you're gonna substitute. You're going to put in negative 3x squared plus 3x plus 6 and you're going to press graph All right you'll notice that this parabola is facing down in this case it really doesn't matter to us we still have to get the roots of or zeros of this parabola of this quadratic so we're going to do it the same exact way as we did it in the last screen. Press second function and trace. Go down to the zero function, which is number two. You could press down like this and then enter, or you could just press two. When it says left bound in a case like this, you're going to move that X on the screen, on the calculator screen, all the way to the bottom before it crosses the X axis. This is left bound. Press enter. Right bound is after it crosses that x axis. And that is right bound. So I moved it and now I'm going to press enter. Now it says guess. I'm going to press enter one more time. One of my roots, zeros, is now x equals negative one. I'm going to go and get, I could tell that it has another root. It crosses here. It looks like it's x equals 2. Um, but I'm going to check with the calculator. Second function, trace. Go to 0, because that's what you're calculating. It says left bound. So we're going to have to move this cursor on the calculator screen all the way to the other side of the parabola before it hits uh, and crosses that x-axis and that is known as left bound right here so now I'm gonna press enter and it's gonna say again right bound so I'm gonna move that cursor past the parabolas intersecting the x-axis when it crosses that x-axis and here's the now here's my cursor that is right bound I'm pressing enter it says guess I'll press enter one more time and I have x equals 2 and that is my those are my roots for this one so as you can tell 
pretty easy, especially with the calculator. You have your roots, crosses twice, and that's basically it. This is these this is a parabola that has two solutions. Number three is, is just one more that I want to do with you. I have x squared plus eight equals zero. So now simply put, we are going to clear out y1 from our last question. We are going to input x squared plus eight into the calculator and then we're going to press graph. Take a look at that parabola. The parabola is pretty much all the way up, almost off the screen that you can't even see it. But does it cross the x-axis at all? It doesn't. So that means we say this has no solutions. It does not cross or intersect the parabola. So we have no solution at all. Remember, when it does not cross the x-axis, there is no solution. If it just touches the x-axis, there is only one solution. If it crosses the x-axis once and then goes around and crosses it again, there's two solutions. In this one, no solution. So the first page had a whole bunch of steps on it, um, or maybe it was the second page, and then now this page has a, a steps written down for you that you could follow on how to figure out the roots or the zeros of quadratic function on that TE, TI84 plus CE. Um, you could pause the video and just kind of, kind of copy it down in your own shorthand to help you out. Those are three problems that I wanted to go over, and hopefully you found this video very helpful. See you next time.